Thanks for tuning in. Today we're learning from number 41 in this Kyoten. If you often experience spiritual phenomena, do not solely work on spiritual matters, but also keep polishing your character. Uh, words for building character number 41. If you often experience spiritual phenomena, do not solely uh, work on spiritual matters, but also keep polishing your character. Thank you, Lord God. Okay, so spiritual phenomena. This goes for both good and bad. So if it's bad, let's say that you're having some sort of like uh, possession uh, and bad things are occurring around you uh, due to evil spirit possession. If you feel that something like that is occurring, uh, then yes, not only work on spiritual matters of like praying and uh, not only praying or asking for help from like psychics, uh, what you got to do is you just have to think about as this sentence is saying um you have to think about all right what can i do to make myself a better person what can i do to make myself more of a responsible citizen and start acting upon it and start making efforts towards it this mentality this mindset already detaches you from evil spirits because evil spirits hate efforts evil spirits hate contribution contributing to other people or society so the wavelength already differs and then they can't connect so this is an extremely important sentence if you're going through evil spiritual phenomenon what can i do to polish my character and keep on polishing it and then now going for uh the other half which is good spiritual phenomenon um yes if you continue studying in happy science and continue your discipline here, you will start getting more spiritual senses, such as being able to catch what the other person is thinking deep down, uh, being able to maybe uh, sense what other people are feeling in your own dreams. And these sort of like mystical phenomena will start to occur. I've also experienced this many times. But when these things do occur, that's when we have to be very careful. Uh, spiritual discipline, spiritual uh, this uh, road to spiritual enlightenment is a slippery slope. The higher you go, the angle it becomes it increases. So once you fall, you fall really fast. At the early stage, it's not that steep, but let the the higher the enlightenment you re you reach, it is a steeper slope. So it's very important to to not become arrogant and always remember that in this three dimensional world. In this um, secular world, are you still functioning properly as a good person or a person with good character? It's something that we have to always remind ourselves. Uh, those are my thoughts. What did you think? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section. See you again tomorrow. Bye.